All right, what's going on, guys? You know, today we're in for something very special, and I'm very, very excited, if you cannot tell. Now, I just got done with my exam. You know, I've been up for, I think, what? 29 hours at this point so you know i'm feeling great dude it's time to make a video because on monday i'm going out of town and i'm literally not gonna have internet for 16 days so i gotta get some video scheduled to upload man <laughs> So yeah, if I sound like complete death, that's why, okay? But anyway, I found this in the video suggestions tab of my Discord server. Link in the description if you want to join. You know, no Patreon tier required. I am very active in there, so come join, hang out. You know, it's a pretty relaxed server. There's not too many rules. But there was someone in my Discord server by the name of Some Weeb. You know, shout out to you. He posted this wonderful Twitter thread in there. And honestly, man, it can only be described as the PlayStation fanboy, man. Manifesto. Like, you really just can't make this shit up, man. Like, this guy probably spent more time typing this thing out than I'll probably spend making this entire video. So, you know what? I think that says a lot. But before we get into today's video, we actually have a sponsor, which is really awesome, man. This is actually a company I'm really familiar with, which was really cool when I saw it. So that's why I was really happy to take the sponsorship because it's something I would actually buy. And it's not like some crappy mobile game that literally no one cares about, okay? These are actually pretty cool products. So Elemental Knives reached out to me and asked if they could sponsor some videos on the channel. I said yes. They sent me out some free knives as well, which was really awesome of them. And well, I got this black stiletto knife, which honestly, this is going right in my backpack, dude. This thing looks awesome. I love it. It has a great weight to it. And overall, the all black is just pretty cool looking, man. On top of that, I got this blue karambit, which personally, I'm always spinning one of these when I'm sitting at my desk. It's probably the nicest one I've owned, man. Like, it has a really nice weight to it. It spins really well. And finally, they sent me this really cool lore huntsman knife, which this thing is absolutely badass. Like, you feel like a complete badass when you're holding this. Like, the etching on the blade and everything just looks really cool, and it's complete overkill when you're opening a box with it. But, dude, it is so satisfying. I really like this knife a lot. It's one of the coolest knives I think I've ever seen. But big thank you to Elemental Knives for sending me these knives out, as well as for sponsoring the channel. If you are interested, there will be a custom link in the description, as well as the pinned comment. Click that link if you want to go check out the website. They have more knives, like the ones I featured in different paint jobs, as well as bayonets, butterfly knives, and just some really cool stuff overall. So definitely go check it out if you are interested, and make sure to use the link in the description or in the pinned comment. But with that said, guys, let's go ahead and get into the main topic of today's video. So like I said, guys, we are going to be taking a look at this fanboy manifesto. Now, I do want to make it a point just to be clear here. When I talk about PlayStation fanboys, I'm not talking about people who play on PlayStation, okay? If you do not fall into the category where you are posting stuff this retarded, you're probably going to be fine, dude. Like, don't even worry about it. Most people who play on PlayStation are definitely 100% not like this. This is a very special and stupid portion of the PlayStation user base, okay? You know what? All the people who play on PlayStation who are subbed to me or watch my videos, we're cool, man. As long as you aren't spouting ignorance like... Like this on the internet but anyway guys without further ado sit back relax and let's go down this downward spiral into the mind of a console fanboy cue the sad naruto music i'm sorry playstation and sony but the events that transpired tonight in hell even this whole year are beyond totally unacceptable to the point where it makes me puke a little that's right guys when the company behind your favorite console doesn't do what you want them to do it is completely normal to throw up let's start off with what happened in april in april you guys sent out review copies of release Days Gone, when the game was totally unplayable, from bugs to huge frame drops, and below, Sony Interactive Entertainment quality mission design. Now, I don't really know what that last thing means there, but for the most part, I actually agree here, but then again, all good things cannot last. Perhaps, if you would have delayed the game to the dead season midsummer, it would have ended up being a solid game and probably averaged around, I don't know, at least a 76. This is one thing I really don't get about console fanboys, is they, like, obsess over Metacritic. Like, the Metacritic rating itself like, that number is more important than the actual game they're playing. Like, I really don't get it. Why does it matter if it is a 76? Why can't it just be a good game? Yeah, the game had some redeeming qualities, but the flaws dragged the experience down, as demonstrated in the critical reception. Again, I completely agree. Next up, we get to Death Stranding release date in May, along with Final Fantasy Remake release date. That was great, but Death Stranding, a game practically that was born 
from the first party studio, Guerrilla Games, since it used their engine. Okay, let's just stop here. So does that mean that every single game that uses the Unreal Engine is basically an Epic Games game? No, that's so fucking stupid, dude. People license out engines all the time. This is pretty common in the gaming industry, and it doesn't mean Guerrilla Games is the one who made the game itself, and many employees was mixed and mashed as an exclusive until you guys stupidly officially announced it was going to PC a week before release. You know, how dare Sony announce that the game was going to PC a week before release so they didn't mislead people into buying the game on PlayStation 4 under the impression that it was going to be exclusive to the PS4 forever, only to find out later that the game was coming to PC, and they basically feel like they wasted $60 because they would have rather bought the game on PC in the first place and not on the PlayStation. You know, how dare you give the customer information? How dare you give them a choice? I mean, this is just some 300 IQ shit. This not only killed sales, but looking back on it, looks like preemptive damage control for the game. Well, you know, the game wasn't exactly great. It was a walking simulator where the most complex mechanic was balancing as you walked. How fun. That being said, it's pathetic that this game went to PC in the first place. Yeah, how dare games go to PC? How dare other people get to play them? Yeah, Kojima is iconic, but you guys gave him everything, and he had the audacity to release one of his worst critically received games ever while boasting about his new genre and his cool celebrity friends onto a platform separate from PlayStation. Well, I agree, he spent more money and time on the actual celebrities than the game itself. I mean, that's pretty evident when you look at the game. Next up, it was also very disappointing how you guys let the David Cage games all go to PC. Well, those games are not owned by Sony. They were just published by Sony, so I'm pretty sure they can do whatever they want with their own games, so. Or maybe the Epic Store paid fucking Sony to have the right to publish them on PC. So, why does it even fucking matter? You played the games on PS4. They're not taking the games off PS4. What fucking difference does it make? Once again, devaluing the PlayStation, giving the PlayStation bad press and mixed messaging? How the fuck is that bad? Bad press. Like, what effect does that actually have on the PlayStation that people on PC get to play a video game? Like, what the fuck is this? To only make matters worse, you guys are now putting amazing games like Uncharted 4 and God of War on PS Now, which is also available on PC. Oh my god, guys. I mean, imagine actually using a streaming service to play PlayStation games on a device other than a PlayStation. Isn't that the whole fucking point of it? Like, why would you buy the streaming service if you could just play the game? games on your PS4 to begin with. This is so fucking retarded, dude. Yeah, I know I've used the argument before that streaming to PC isn't the same as a PC port. It still isn't. It doesn't counteract the exclusivity of those games, but allowing PS4 games to be played without a PS4 on other platforms devalues the console once again. Why do you care? You can still play the games on your PS4. Why do you care that more people get to play a video game? You still have access to all of those games that you enjoy. Isn't that what games Gaming is all about, but no, it's about bullshit exclusivity battles, about who has the quote-unquote better games than the other consoles, because, you know, that's the only thing that matters, is being able to say, yeah, my games are better than Xbox, fuck Xbox, dude, I love PlayStation. But yeah, it's just really stupid if you think about it, and I hope this isn't the direction you're going, because people will flock away ASAP once you allow downloads to PS Now on PC. Anyway, this year PlayStation has also fallen to the fake outrage, and allowed crossplay to be available with most big games. That's right, how dare PlayStation allow cross-play so people can play with their friends on other platforms. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. They fell for Xbox P3's buttery bullshit. <laughs> when everyone plays, we all win. It allowed Minecraft Bedrock to be on PS4 using Xbox Live accounts. Totally unacceptable as PlayStation gets nothing in return except, you know, a share of all the revenue of purchases on Minecraft Bedrock Edition on the PlayStation, but you know, we won't get into that. Not to mention this help inflate the Xbox Live numbers because that's what really matters. How fucking could we? We can't imagine a world where Xbox just fucking reports higher Xbox Live numbers. But this week was the final straw. I must speak out against these stupidly made decisions after what transpired this week. We started off the week with MLB The Show being announced for multiple platforms within the next few years. Oh my god, more people get to play a video game and Sony gets to make money from all those sales on other platforms? How fucking could they? Yeah, you can argue argue that Sony wants to make Madden money with MLB being on all platforms, but you need to realize this is using SSDs, resources, and such, making games for competing platforms when they could have just finally dropped stupid MLB and focus on new exclusive games. So you want a studio that solely exists to make fucking MLB games to drop MLB because 
it's not exclusive anymore? What the fuck is this, dude? Because God knows that PlayStation needs all the exclusives they can get in this day and age. There's a slew of PlayStation-only franchises that they could have been working on, from Jack to Infamous to Uncharted. The list goes on. And this topic of exclusive games leads me to the final topic, which is what transpired tonight at the Game Awards. At the Video Game Awards, Microsoft took the industry and world by surprise when they released their lame-ass fridge box shit series. Well, you know, I think it actually looks pretty nice in all honesty. Yeah, it does kind of look like a fridge, but you know, that's mainly just a meme. Most people think it looks pretty decent for the most part. From what I can tell, I mean, it looks like a miniature PC. I don't think you can really complain about that. And sure, they took Cerny in the audience by surprise as well, and that clown Jim Ryan. What Ninja Theory showed off Hellblade 2 is undoubtedly the greatest thing visually any gamer has ever feasted their eyes on, which resulted in the highly anticipated Ghost of Tsushima trailer to look quite underwhelming in comparison. Well, you know, one's on next-gen hardware, and one's on a PS4 from 2013, dude. No shit. It even makes the the Last of Us 2 look underwhelming. Again, old hardware, six-year-old fucking hardware that was already two to three years outdated when it released versus hardware that's coming out in 2020. Again, this is not rocket science, my dude. I almost forgot. Another fuck-up this year was The Last of Us 2 being revealed and then delayed a few weeks later. Not to mention, they took out multiplayer, but they did say they're working on a separate multiplayer game, I think. Knowing Naughty Dog, it'll be microtransaction heavy, unfortunately. So The Last of Us 2, extravaganza, and yet another shitty thing to add to its shitty year. Again, Hellblade 2 really stole the show tonight, and the Video Game Awards, which resulted in Ghost of Tsushima, to look underwhelming. Not to mention, whose stupid-ass idea was it to announce Godfall as a PlayStation 5 launch title? That game looks last-gen even. No, that game actually looked really nice, dude. I haven't seen anything that really looked that good, in my opinion. Like, that game looked better than Hellblade, I would say, honestly. I mean, Jesus. And to make matters worse, the game is a console exclusive, which already devalues the PS5. Overall, this has not been a good year for the PlayStation team as they are losing a sense of direction slash identity and are being sloppy in closing months of this gen. They cannot wait until February to reveal the PlayStation 5, not after what Microsoft did tonight. They must go on the front as soon as possible, and this they better show something that looks better or on par with what Ninja Theory showed. I'm looking at Horizon Zero Dawn 2, SM2, I don't know what that is, and Gran Turismo 7, and whatever else. Else. It needs to be shown ASAP, and they need to get aggressive because Microsoft clearly are not messing around anymore. No more of the crossplay bullshit. No more sloppy second timed exclusives for PS. No more PS Now on PC, etc. So basically, you're saying get rid of PS Now altogether because there's literally no purpose for PS Now to exist if you can only play those games on a PlayStation console. I hope you guys are ready. As a PlayStation guy, I'm concerned with the current new leadership at PlayStation who seem to be scared and are too nice. This being too nice thing could lead to not pushing inconsistent studios like Gorilla or Sucker Punch Productions to their full potential, which leads to a drop in quality. That quality is needed now more than ever at PlayStation, at YOSP, at Herman Hulst, at Sony. Do your thing and blow the minds at the PS5 reveal event. Gamers are awaiting action after what happened tonight. Don't be disappointed. Thanks. Well, guys, what? That took like 10 minutes, dude? I'm looking at the fucking audio recording right now. Jesus Christ. I I could never imagine sitting down and typing all of this. Like, this is legit creepy. Like, if I was a PlayStation executive that got tagged in this, and I saw this man's manifesto on Twitter, you know, I'd probably hire some security guards to be out front to watch for a man with a machine gun approaching. Like, this guy's probably unhinged, dude. But, I mean, this is actually pathetic, man. Like, you just start to wonder, what is behind that profile picture, dude? Is this, like, some 400-pound neckbeard who doesn't speak to a single person outside of Twitter and just sits there stroking his PlayStation all day? He doesn't even play it. He just sits there and worships it. I mean, Jesus Christ, man. Imagine not wanting cross-play. And imagine not wanting people to be able to play the same games that you enjoy. Just so you can say, oh yeah, the fucking PS4 is so much better than anything else, dude. What a fucking pathetic existence. But anyway, guys, that does it for this video today. You know, if you did enjoy it, make sure to hit that like button. I would greatly appreciate it. And it does help out the channel a bunch. Again, big thank you to Elemental Knives for sponsoring this video. You know, link in the description and in the pinned comment if you want to go check out some of the knives they have on their website and with that said guys i want to thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to check out the video as always and for all the recent support as well and i will catch you guys next time <laughs>